Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a very cool sit down with a PS5 scalper. We get to go and have the inner minds and inner workings, and basically we have a lot of kind of interesting things that we're actually being told about. As well, there's a lot of other cool things also seeing that the community is still going and fighting back against all the PS5 scalpers out there, trying their best to go and help basically everyone else go get their consoles and also basically we're seeing ps5 scalpers now basically making fun of people it's kind of uh, all over the <laughs> kind of all over the place when it comes to this video itself but a lot of intriguing interesting things to go and talk about and as well of all of you guys having a very fantastic sunday and hopefully you guys are not ps5 scalpers yourselves i just want to do a few little quick notes slash little quick sells before we actually dive into the video make sure you guys are subscribed for the ps5 giveaway going on we're gonna be starting one up again very very soon so make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications on for the channel itself leave a like if you guys enjoy these types of videos and definitely for sure comment down below your thoughts as you're watching this video i also want to make a quick note because i've touched upon this in this previous videos i have these little like cool charging things that i've been using for my ps5 so if you guys want these i'll link these down below i'm in a separate video but i just think they're kind of cool i like all the leds they come with a bunch of different colors so i'll link that down below not to add i just think they're kind of cool but also have the amazon link for the ps5 we've actually seen quite a few digital consoles and other disc consoles show up for the warehouse sales we also know an amazon drops coming pretty soon so be on the lookout for that the twitter and twitch stream a link down below if you guys would like to follow especially go follow up the twitter and of course also the weeble sign up for weeble the pods wanted you guys go get free stock and free money and coinbase if you guys go buy 100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go get free bitcoin those are always linked down below let's go dive on into this one so as i mentioned it's kind of like a little bit of an interview slash read slash like basically a lot of stuff to talk about so we can sit back relax and enjoy up on this video itself so basically this all uh, overall title is called basically ps5 scalpers don't understand why you're giving them so much money which i kind of agree guys don't buy from scalpers we've seen so many restocks happen recently there is no reason to be giving them scalpers money there's no reason whatsoever but as of now we have actually have a very nice sit down and kind of hear more information and kind of talk about we have a lot we're going to discuss on this one so as i mentioned leave all your comments down below if you guys want to go and chime in at any point so basically, Adam is a student and prolific reseller of the any in-demand product like sneakers, cards, Disney dolls, and the PS5. But basically, when it comes to that one, has been his major focus for the past few months. His highest sale for the digital version of the PS5 in January, which went for 720 euros, which basically is like double the price. But in an interview, Adam admitted to me that customers paying that high markup have baffled him. So even when the PS5 scalpers are being baffled, there you guys go. Like, don't buy from scalpers. It's not worth it, especially with how much stock that Sony's actually getting. I personally don't understand why anyone would pay over the odds for a console that will send the shelves for a few months, but that's just me. People are just being children because they can't get something they want. It's funny because in some way, uh, in some of these groups, there are chat rooms where people post their interactions with angry customers, and it's hilarious. So these people are literally making fun of you. Like, literally making fun of people want to go deal with, uh, you know, scalpers and stuff like that, want to buy from scalpers. You're literally, like, these are the types of people you guys are giving money to if you guys ever go and support scalping. Adam is referring to cook groups, which are, this sounds a lot worse than it is, which are private communities that advertise paying membership on how to scalp. It's via these groups that they get advanced information up on upcoming ps5 stock bit drops which also claims he's earned over 1500 euros from five sales which is actually kind of low for a scalper you gotta go and step it on up buddy uh adam also told me that the members of them have also received really bad comments mixed out in adam isn't the only one who doesn't understand why people are clabbering to pay marked up prices which i kind of agree too i feel like i understand like if you get a little bit impatient or you don't want to wait so much but i just wait like an extra two or three months and we'll all have consoles hopefully it'll be in stock too as well if anything go watch our video earlier on today we actually have walk-ins going on right now for consoles too for for myers so go for it uh basically another seller i spoke to called rack is also a student making some extra cash told me that they are not sure why people are paying these amounts for a console that within six months i will believe are will be readily available which i definitely kind of agree on that too as well i think a lot of these consoles are gonna be very very easy to get i mean it's still gonna keep on being a little bit harder but i think more so like stocks will be up for an hour or two hours if you guys kind of basically pay attention you guys can probably get dropped pretty easy uh i understand why people are so angry about scalpers because many people do know forms which i'm not gonna disagree on. i do think a lot of scalpers themselves like there's a place for it but i kind of hate it whenever there's like more so limited edition stuff and when people do it multiple times I understand you can make money. I understand that's how you can make money and extra money. Or if like your family needs it, I get it. There is some excuses for it. But like more so if you go look at those major scalping companies that are spending a million dollars on consoles to resell them for $1.5 million or places that are buying out literal entire stores, that's where we draw the problem. For me, I'm like, I'm kind of iffy if someone has like three of them and they go and like they sell them. I, I, I get it. I get it. But these people that do for multiple different times and keep on want to keep on doing it as long as it's profitable, that's when I have an issue because if you take it away from two people, eh, 
It's not the best. If you go take it away from 50 people, 100 people, like where do you draw the line? So that's why I just am kind of anti scalping in general. And why we do so much PS5 re stuff on the channel, so I was so you guys go subscribe so I can help you guys out. Rack went on to explain that they bought their PS5 from Amazon, but didn't respond to a question about how many consoles they had sold. Their listing history on eBay showed at least four PlayStation units, both disc and digital, and two Xbox Series Xs, with also a lot of handbags and in-demand sneakers. But some PS5 buyers may be fighting back, which we've actually heard on this and touched on this before, which is awesome. Rack claimed that some bidders have won his auctions and then canceled the order. Sadly, there are many jealous people around, so they decided to cancel my order today, he said. Another eBay seller called Sean uh, told me this has happened several times to him. I've sold the item three times this weekend, all to zero feedback bidders who have been more than the average price for a PS5 and then not paid. Which I'm kind of, I always kind of feel bad on that because there is always like something bad on the receiving side. But also these are scalpers trying to make money off of people's desperation. So it's kind of like, kind of like one of those like, like I get the hustle, but at the same time, eh, you like, no one likes you when you kind of do this. Like I, I get both sides, you know, I get it. Although Sean suspects that actually some other scalpers actually might be actually trying to artificially replace the fry, uh, price of the console on eBay. And some writers also have also decided to go and do that just for active revenge, which we've kind of seen that in some news articles or people up in India who are basically mass buying things and just canceling as well. I also went through 10 immediate ending auctions on eBay, clicked on their bids and found three listings with either zero feedback bidders winning or competing. So basically kind of supporting that up, up there. Uh, Sean says this only happens with the PS5, so these zero bidders have also wasted my time by buying and not paying, which also means if I release now, I also have to pay eBay a 10% final value fee, which just kind of stinks too as well. I mean, I can see this being kind of annoying for the seller, but I mean, once again, you are a scalper, so I mean, I legitimately believe there is something fishy going on. I've sold other music equipment and never experienced zero feedback, no paying buyers to this extent, which kind of can see a showcase of just all this stuff on over here and basically if you guys don't know ebay all these zeros are basically fake bids and then you have like this is more supply a real person this will probably be a real bidder and also the tide is turning which is kind of good news overall for this article outside of revenge bids on ebay the resale market appears to be cooling down the ps5 resellers might be living on borrowed time as more consoles become available according to data from uh secondary market site stock x the website which is famed for selling sneakers also shared in depth information on that stuff that basically been dropping. Uh, PS5 prices were at their high during Cyber Weekend in November, when the days following we saw the price had just back to their pre Black Friday levels. Prices continue to fall over the next months, and uh, today the PS5 consoles are at their lowest points to date, which is good. They're going to keep on going lower and lower and lower as time goes on. The average resale price of the PS5 on StockX is a decrease actually 20% now as well. There's also disparity in resale prices and popularity between the disc and digital and the new Xbox Series X. This is actually very interesting news for me to look at too as well and kind of see. But basically, the PS5 console has seen a steeper resale price decline than the Xbox console as well, which is interesting, which has fallen between 10 and 15% since November, when they first released the PS5 Digital Edition was reselling for nearly $100 more than the Xbox Series X, or today they're now roughly the same price, around $607, which is still dumb, just go buy them from retail in a few more weeks. Over the last month, February 8th to March 8th, the average resale price of the PS5 on stock X has decreased by $70, and the PlayStation 5 consoles are currently selling at 40 to 70% above retail, especially compared to their peak, which is at 100 to 150% retail, uh, over retail. And the best-selling PS5 model is definitely the PS5 Blu-ray edition, so US plug, and they've also sold over 60000 The overall trend suggests that resale prices will continue to fall, which is good. We are still anti-scalpers here, which could be bad news for scalpers. Good, who have failed to shift their units so far. Good, either because of fake bidders good maybe <laughs> or the uh impending oversupply adam tells me he's not concerned about resale prices dropping i'll keep reselling them until they're constantly available as it's just free money at this point bad uh sean however has given up and decided to keep the ps5 he failed to shift good i thought i would sell it due to the inflated prices maybe pick one up again when the council is more readily available as the prices are dropping i thought ismail will keep it so very kind of cool stuff a lot of things to kind of dissect really quickly before this is all done but so number one, basically PlayStation 5 people are making fun of us <laughs> when it comes to this. But also, and we kind of want to maybe touch on this in a future video as well, when it comes to stock and the stock availability, etc. But it also looks like a lot of the stock is actually going down as well, which is kind of good in terms of more so like stock, uh, the secondhand sellers on eBay, Facebook, etc. Which is very nice because it also means, as I've been saying, as the stock price goes down, that means they make less money on every sale, which also means that they're less likely to want to keep on scalping or having bots set up, which makes it easier for normal people to go get their consoles, which then in turn also means that we also go and get more chances to get our consoles and then more normal people get the consoles and then eventually end up in the in stores, etc. Like, 
good stuff really good stuff so very cool stuff it is kind of intriguing though that the markup is still so high when it comes to the playstation the digital and the xbox series x especially the ps5 digital it's also kind of intriguing too as well that people still want to go and actually well but keep on trying to go and uh scalp for me i'd be like the second guy i'd be done i'd be just down to go and chill enjoy my console but it's kind of crazy that some people are still that adamant to want to keep on getting consoles and selling consoles which i guess makes sense if you're making money on it i can't judge you too too hard but i, I don't sometimes you have to know when to quit and i kind of feel like they're not necessarily really doing that but overall it is very nice news that we keep on seeing the actual secondhand market price go down i would love to maybe do a more in-depth video on that as well in the future but overall i say kind of good news i think it's very nice kind of funny that scalpers are making fun of people but also it's very nice that we are seeing so much stock available and well the fact that we keep on seeing so many more restocks happening even if you guys want to watch our video earlier on today i do think it's a lot of good news like i'm very excited about pretty much everything i'm in a good vibe and good well <laughs> good stuff so a very interesting article especially from forbes i'll have the article linked down below if you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed for the ps5 giveaway popping up on the channel as well leave a like if you guys enjoy it definitely leave your comment and your thoughts down below or is that the amazon link one for a little nice little glowy things going on if you guys care about these you can use them on the playstation or whatever and also the amazon for the ps5 link if you guys do want to go and check out and see for the warehouse sales we've seen a lot of warehouses pop on up and also the weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 you guys go get free stock and free money coinbase you guys go buy 100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go get free bitcoin and also the twin twitch stream link down below if you guys want to follow that on up and make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on so you guys up in the next video love you guys all so much i'll see you guys all later on have a good rest of your days good rest of your nights or whatever you got time you guys are watching i'll see you guys all later on throughout today for some more good old videos love you guys all i appreciate you guys all for everything